Denon flagship AVR, their A1H, is now available for purchase for $6,500. It is incredibly expensive. Make no mistake about it, but it's a flagship. So, you know, with a flagship, you will get a lot of flagship quality. So, you're going to get support. For the latest hdmi 2.1 which has the ability to pass through 8k video signal with ease um with 60 hertz uh, frames so, so, so it, it's still the best avr you can buy right now uh, it has 15 internal amplifiers but I, I, I always tell people if they're gonna buy this sort of unit just spend the money on an amplifier so you get the best value for yourself so this unit is is now available you know it was announced uh, a while back but availability was the thing that i said that once it's it, it becomes available i will bring the news again and that now it's official it's out for sale it's an upgrade to their avr 8500h that made its debut in 2018 uh they also released their avr a110 their anniversary edition in 2020 so this is just replacing those prior flagships uh from from the from the recent past this a1h will offer very significant improvements uh it, it's still gonna have some trickle down features from the other flagships um like the same build they, they still maintain similar build like the old one so there isn't um there isn't much of a difference in build quality um, denon has always looked the same honestly over the years they've really not changed much uh over time so th that's the much i can say for the company they don't really change their design so much because the, to their to their own philosophy as sound united they just feel what works works so we don't really care about the looks to be changed every day uh, another thing again is that this is coming with an advanced base management system um you can set up the base better than you what you could with the other denim products from the past because of the better um, base management system it has four subwoofer outputs which other products they've released in the past never had so you're gonna get better performance from this another thing again is that it it did it's gonna suck a lot of power so you're looking at 900 watts when you hook it up to your electricity uh it will support all the 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 3d formats all the 3d formats are supported here you have vtsx you have dolby atmos you have r 3d r 3d is still alive make no mistake about it and there is imax enhanced and there is sony 360 reality audio so you are getting a lot uh a lot of support here and um another thing is the fact that there are dax inside uh, that is going to power all the channels uh individually so you're gonna get the best sound performance with this unit uh i, I have to be honest with uh, anybody that's looking to get your hands on it there's still here support there's still high res audio support of 24 bit 192 kilohertz um it, it will support um multiple hdmi 2.1 um ports then there is also hdmi arc and there is your gaming support with this uh, unit so y you will be able to game with it uh, there won't be any issue whatsoever uh, it, you can pass through 8k video with no issue um the room correction on it is is very good you are still gonna get the odyssey multi xt 32 uh, multi eq xt 32 that's gonna be on it but in the future you can update it to get uh, direct live room correction so once that is out the direct live room correction is out i'll be sure to bring the news reports then so um do uh, you have to be patient uh because that's the next thing i will be announcing um another thing again is the price tag is six thousand five hundred dollars six thousand five hundred dollars is the price tag uh so that's it do check it out uh i'll drop the details in the description um and that's it subscribe to the channel like our content i'll see you guys very much uh, next time